I stand behind Juice Blood, and Juice Blood I trust. Good morning, CB Kennel family. Man, this is yours truly. CB Kennel Tommy. Yes, sir. Man, listen. We back at it. We back at it. With the grind on the grind. Man, listen. I'm going to go meet up with my kennel partner. He had to come down here to go to Ivet to get some meds because he needed some meds. And I need some too. So I'm going to meet him now. Um, but listen, you guys. Um, man, listen. I've been telling. Trail about this boy, man, and he haven't seen him yet, man. So I'm taking this boy with me so Trail can check him out in person. I'm gonna take him to Trail and let Trail check him out and get Trail's reaction on that boy. Look at him, dog. God, Lee, boy. Guys, but like I was saying, don't put my sleeping on. I always obey the laws, man. Gotta be a good kid. So, um, like I was telling you guys, I'm gonna meet up my kennel partner. Um, he needs to get some meds. I need some meds too. You guys know I'm about to drop a litter, juice, and um, uh, hoppo. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I think I'm gonna keep a female from that, man. I think I'm gonna keep a female from that. I don't really know just yet though, because like. I got some pup back deals coming, like, you feel me? I already know, because um, I just bred Sophie, so hopefully, um, Sophie Tate, um, I did a pup back deal with her and my guy out there in California, so I saw some semen off to him, so hopefully Sophie takes. I'm excited for that, man, because you guys know Sophie and Juice Lazar do crazy little, um, and I get a female from that, um, so, um, yeah, man. I'm excited, but I want, I want my camera partner to see this boy in person, man, because I've been talking so much shit about him, and, like, he ain't see, hey, hey, stop tearing that paper up, boy, but, um, like I said, man, we on the way down to meet up with him, I catch y'all in a little bit, man, when we get down, um, I love y'all, we should do, like, a little, what y'all think, we should do, like, a little one-on-one -on -one talk, man, because I, I ain't, I ain't be able to drive and talk to y'all for in a while, man, so, um, uh, actually, you know what? I do want to talk to you guys, man. I want to do like a quick little talk, man. Um, so, just to inform you guys, man, I don't know if, if I've ever said this, but I do watch other dog breeders. I do watch other dog breeders, man. I'm not. I don't just get on YouTube and and, and make my videos and get off. I don't. I don't do that. I do support and watch other dog breeders. Um, before I became a dog breeder, I've never said this, you guys, but I want to just throw this out there. I've never said this, you guys. But I want to throw this out there. Remember, before I actually became a YouTuber and I actually started doing this personally, I was one of those guys, like my supporters, that'd be like, oh, I've been watching you for a while. Man, I can name three breeders right now that I was watching on YouTube before I actually became a YouTuber. One of them is Full Tilt Bullies. I used to watch him. I think the, uh, the owner name is Matt. I used to watch, um, who else I used to watch? I used to watch Mo Kennels. Also, I used to watch, um, who else I used to watch? Royal Kennels. I used to actually watch them guys, support them guys, watch all their videos. You know, and it's crazy because still to this day, I watch other breeders. Even the ones that don't like me, the ones that talk trash about me, the ones that make videos about me. I watch them boys and I support them. I leave likes on their videos. Like, because I'm one of them type of guys, bro, I'm not full of negativity and hate. You feel me? Like, and the thing about it was crazy. I've never, as I was watching those guys when I was thinking about starting my YouTube channel, I never once talked about them boys negative to try to come up. Never once. Never once put any of those three guys. Never once put their name in my videos or use their clout that they had to try to come up. I literally just took my own, you know, my own vision, my own hard work and ethics and just and just grind. And that's why I get to where I'm at. Um, but yes, I, I'm not I'm not nobody special. I'm not nobody high or power or anything like that. Like I put my pants on just like every other breeder. And like I tell you guys all the time. I'm not the only one with nice dogs, man. Like, I'm not the only one with nice dogs, man. Like, there's a lot of breeders that got nice dogs. There's a lot of breeders that's actually coming up and trying to do 
absolutely one thing I, I and I was watching the, I was watching a, um a breeder a couple of days ago man and I see he connected with another um he connected with another um breeder and they did a breeding and it's crazy because it's like bro deep down the side bro I don't understand why there's hate in the dog game I don't understand why like we all can't just collab and make money like I never understood the fact of down on somebody else to come up. I never understood it. And I never understood why people just couldn't collab and make money. Like, you feel me? Like, I have no problem. I never, I know you guys never see me collab with nobody besides the people I mess with. It's because, like, I know people not genuine nowadays. You feel me? Like, people not genuine. Like, people, people, they're, it's not even, you feel me? People don't even want to fuck with you because they really want to fuck with you. They rather down you to come up instead of working with you and tapping in with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, Man, it's so much dog money that we all could make together. We all could, you know what I'm saying, collab together and do breed and stuff like that. But, you know, that's the type of shit I be on. Like, us working together to make money, not us all just trying to bash each other and step onto the name. Well, I ain't gonna say us because I don't do that shit. That shit weird to me. I've never done that. I just named you guys three breeders. I used to watch one before I even became a YouTuber. And I used to support, and I still support them boys. I still support them boys. I still watch all them boys' videos. Like, you feel me? Like, I still watch all them boys' videos. Yeah, I watch them, and I leave likes on them boys' videos. Like, I support them boys, you feel me? Like, because what, what, how is it in the home to you if you really watch somebody and you just like their video? Like, just like it. And it's crazy because I, I see breeders, I see new breeders that I watch that they mimic me. Like, they sound like me. They try to do the things I do. They try to say the things I say, like, and, and I, I'm going to be honest with you, like, I'm not mad about it, like, I, I, I'm proud, like, I'm really proud that I'm doing something right to the point people want to mimic me and they want to be like me, you feel me? But one thing I will tell anybody that's up and coming in the breeding world, man, don't ever be nobody else, be yourself, be true, and be genuine, and that alone, people going to mess with you, you feel me, like, people alone, that alone, people going to mess with you, like, because you're genuine and you're true to yourself. Just be true to yourself, man. Be true to yourself and be you. You don't got to be nobody else to try to, you know what I'm saying? You don't got to mimic nobody to try to, you don't got to do that, man. Just be yourself and be you. And um, that alone, come, 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 come gain the hottest attention because they going to mess with you because, I mean, you're a true person, you feel me? Um, I'm the same person I have been and will I be since day one, since my first video, you know what I'm saying? Just, I done came a little, a little higher and I'm, I'm a little bit more successful. But other than that, man, I'm still the same guy. I still stand on the same business. I still stand on the same rules. You know what I'm saying? But to all the new breeders and everybody that's breeding dogs that's trying to be YouTuber or are YouTubers, man, man, good luck. I support you, boys, man. I watch you, boys. All right, guys. Yeah, so I just pulled up on found, man. Game. Too. First off, hold on, stop real quick. Y'all go right now to his YouTube channel. I'm gonna drop it right there. Go follow his YouTube channel. Go follow his Instagram. Go follow his social media. Go follow all his stuff, y'all. Check this out. Right so this is first time seeing. Hold on, y'all, real quick. Let me let me let Phil talk on the phone. This is first time seeing the keeper, man. It's first time seeing the boy, man. I'm gonna let him pop out and see how he feel. I already told my kennel partner he gonna be the next to take give us. Some, I said, hold on, hold on, Phil, stay back. I told my kennel partner he gonna make us. I didn't say me. I said us millionaires. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Phil, I can come hold on, Phil. What is real dead Nando? Man, it be, and how old you say it be here? Almost eight weeks, almost two months. Man, it be small. What I told you, cameras don't do no justice, dog. Eight miles. Ain't, ain't gonna lie, you know how I know this was some, some shit, cause you, you talk about it a bit too much, as far as like, like, how you were talking to me about juicy? Bro, like how you talk about this being found? That's how I know, bro. Every phone call, what I be telling you, fam. I see this bitch in person, fam. Look, fam. Like, I don't know what to tell y'all. This bitch small, fam. You said I was talking about who? Juicy. And that's crazy. He ain't know what Juicy was until he seen her. Nah. When you first seen Juicy when I, when I took him to the show, yeah, that nigga say, damn, yeah, fam. Yeah. I ain't know yeah. she was like this. Camera shit don't, don't, don't do no justice, bro. The camera shit ain't shit. To be honest with you. Now, let me ask you a question. You done seen what I produce, I done seen what you produce. Has it been this small, fam? Oh, no, this smallest right now. Like, even with mine, yours. Everything like that, and they, fam, and the chocolate female, bro, she, she, she a little bit, maybe a, a little bit smaller. Oh, this is hard, fam. You 
cooking ASL? Yeah, I'm a cook. It's so hard, man. Small, fam. He gonna tell you he gonna be hella small. Real small. That big gonna be small, small, fam. Juice 2.0. No. Say juice 2.0. Hell no. Nah. He gonna be better than juice. I'm oh, telling you, fam. Oh. Nigga, I, I get rid of everything fucking with him. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna. I, I, I wouldn't say that, but this bitch, yeah. It's Look at the head, though. Problem. Look at that head. You see how round that shit is? And his head ain't done growing. He got an eye But you see, you see the eye spray. You see it, too, right? It's all the way by his ear. That shit crazy, ain't it? God, it's small, fam. I know. I kept telling you that. You, I told you you gotta stay while I'm gonna bring him so you can see him in person. It's that nigga small, he small, like he, he small, fam, like he ain't just small, he small, fam. That nigga small, no, 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 like, this ain't no, no regular small, this small, midget small, I'm talking about. And I produced it. Smush muscle. But it's clean though, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah. clean though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You like, feel like, me? Like, None like, of that, look, it's shit clean though. And hey, look at this, look how round nigga head is. Talk, man, listen, fam. All right. This is him. I ain't gonna lie, this him. This him, fam. Andy Merle. Andy Merle. Look at the legs. Oh, like mine. Yup, correct. Certain spots on a Merle. But he he not fully Merle. He not fully Merle, but he Merle. So that means he gonna throw Merles, because he's Merle. You see it on his back? So why I look like he wanna turn trial up these two? I was thinking that. Look, I was thinking that. I swear I was thinking that. I'm right? telling you, I was oh. thinking that. But he just, they, they didn't come up by his eyes yet. You feel me? I was thinking that. They just didn't come up by his eyes yet, though. This is him, y'all. I ain't gonna count to y'all. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. When that man do early lock in, y'all gotta type in, bro, because they ain't gonna count. Once I get mine, don't go to. <laughs> Fuck no, because I'm gonna get mine. I might get mine first. Man, y'all know damn well he ain't paying for no goddamn breeding. Y'all know he get his shit for free. Stop it. Like I, said, I don't know why he's sitting there capping. He know I was, he know damn well I don't charge him for no goddamn no, breeding. I'm telling you, I'm getting mine first before y'all even come capping. Your bitch better be in heat. <laughs> Tighten down, fam. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know, fam. I don't charge fam for uh, stud nah, fees. Nah, nah, I, didn't I don't charge. I didn't use all that nigga dog. I don't charge fam stud fees. I'm about to use uh, put the baby Drake on next. The look, I'm about to use his ass. <laughs> and everybody over there. <laughs> Y'all, y'all ain't gonna lie, fam. Pictures don't do no justice, y'all. Pictures don't do shit. Nothing, fam. Look at that nigga head, bro. I'm telling you, brother. Videos and his brother, the one at the other mill, he looks just like him. Small too. Like Small. Him. He got a full tail. Only reason why I don't like them, I don't like them dark color mirrors. You know, I like light color mirrors. I like chocolate. Yeah, I like chocolate. You feel me? That's the reason I control them. And I'm not gonna lie, he may be like a, he probably like an inch smaller, but he murder. You see it? You can put it, see it on his butt, on his feet. But he gonna be. I'm telling you, but we go to shows. He gonna be smaller than Juicy. Bro, listen, check this out. That's what I'm trying to tell you, fam. When Juicy was his age, she she was small, but I don't think she was. She wasn't this small at this age. You feel me? Okay, I want to see that bit here grow. Tell me, fam. And he got a nice ass real. What bowls? He got bowls too. You gotta see him stand up. I'm telling him so, the good. So, so take him on right now. All right, what you? I'm gonna turn my camera on. Man. <laughs> this man. All right. Look this way, bit. Yes, yeah, sir, boy, big scar, boy. Look a big scar throwing. Man, y'all tripping. That boy, big scar producing. Big scar is producing, man. That's that juice blood, man. Tap in, you guys. Tap in with big scar, a big juice, man. Look at this, man. Look at this big scar, son. Golly, boy. Big scar, son, right here. Big scar, two big scar signs, man. Y'all gonna see him on Trail Channel on my kennel partner. Y'all make sure y'all go over, tap out, tap into his channel, man. Big scar kids, you guys know I got the big scar daughter, and these are big scar sons. Look at him, you guys. I'm trying to get him to stay calm. You don't want him to be stretched out, man. Y'all make sure y'all go over the trail page, man. Go over to his YouTube channel. And check out Big Scar Productions, man. 
That's nice. crazy. Big star, man. Juice blood run deep. That's all I'm going to say. Boy, I tell you what, boy. That's some shit, though. The mugs look good, boy. The mugs look real good. No face, no, no nothing. Look at that, man. Look at that. Look at his face, man. God, Lee, boy, Big Scott. I'm telling you that juice blood, boy. I stand behind juice blood, and juice blood I trust. All right, you guys. So this girl has officially started walking, man. Yes, sir. Big Scar daughter, man. She has officially started walking. And she looks amazing, guys. Check her out, man. Look at that structure, man. I know you guys ain't seen her walking yet. But check out the structure. Lead to the house. Um, quick info, quick info. Um, so the pups that trail drop, those are scar puppies. Um, the black merle will not be available, but the chocolate merle will be available. Um, so if you're interested, you can tap in on my kennel partner. His Instagram is right there. Um, I just want to give you guys. So what I'm going to start doing, which I have not been doing, I haven't done it, is... I want to start stacking my puppies off at a young age so that way when it's time to get in the um, ring and go to these shows, they already know what time it is. I, I normally don't do that, but I want to get into that, you guys. I'm going to stack off. Um, I'm going to just stack up uh, the two puppies that are available so you guys can see those puppies. Um, and I want to stack up the YB, so I'm going to see what he stacked. But um, they go to that first female. Um, that, oh, by the way, you guys. People in my comments like, don't overfeed them. That's why they stomach like that. You guys, my puppies only eat two times a day. They eat in the morning, they eat at night. So y'all gotta understand, they are these two, these two right here. Let me show you guys. These two, come here, come on here. These, y'all gotta understand, these two are so tiny. That's what y'all don't understand. Like, folks be in the comments, swearing to everything. Bro, these puppies are small. So y'all have to understand, I'm not finna only give them a certain amount. When they eat, I let them eat as much as they want to eat. I don't only give them a certain amount. You guys have to understand, these puppies are super small. So now if you look at these two, right? Now if you look at these two, you see how they stomach a little bit, but you look at these two, their stomachs are, you feel me? Like, it's gonna, it's not gonna be as, as more definite. See how these two don't look more like those two? Like these look more de definite than these two. And the reason being, because these are smaller pups. Those two are smaller pups. You have to understand that, man. My puppies only eat twice a day in the morning and night. All right, but this is the first female that's available, you guys. I'm um, stack her up so you guys can see her. And this little girl is available, like I told you guys, man. Body. Body's super tiny, as you guys can see. Super tiny girl, quality investment. Um, she still is available. For anybody who want to level up their program, man, and invest in a quality female, man. Like, you guys got to understand you get what you pay for. And this girl is tiny, man. Like, super tiny, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's super small. You get what you pay for, man. You want quality? Quality not cheap. Um, I got some folks in my DMs. Like, I had one guy who said, hey, man, what you got available? Um, I got 3K I'm trying to spend. Bro, you're not getting a pup from me for 3K. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I know what I produce, you guys. Just look at what I'm showing you guys. This is not 3K quality. And I honestly don't get it. I be really confused. I'm going to tell you guys why I be confused. Like, people will come to me with the craziest things, right? Put your foot down, boy. All right, let me get a back shot of that, boy. People will come to me with the craziest things, man, and see what I produce and see the quality that I produce, right? Come back, one more back shot. And they'll see the quality I produce, right? And this boy is available, won't forget you guys. They'll see the quality I produce. And then they'll come to me with like, oh, I got 3K, I got 2K to spend. And it's like, 
I take it not personal, but I take it disrespectful because in a lot of my videos, for the ones who really support me, who watch, I say my price a lot. I say all my pups start at 5K. Like, I say that a lot. So for me to get a DM or somebody saying, hey, man, I got 2,000. I got 3,000. You're not getting nothing out of my account for that price. Like, you're not at all. Like, like the quality I produce, you're not getting that for $2,000, $2,000. Like, you're not getting this. You're not getting this for $2,000. I don't care. What you say, whoever you shot with, or he not gonna he not gonna stack for me. I know he ain't. Yeah, he not gonna stack for me. I don't care what you say, who you buy dogs from, or who you look watch, or whatever the case is. You're not getting nothing like this right here for two thousand dollars. Facts. Look at the neck on that boy. And then what I don't get, like, what I really don't understand, you guys, is this: when you go and you go to a car lot, you got different dealerships, right? Cool. If you go to <laughs> a luxury, I ain't gonna even name out one specific. If you go to a luxury dealership, you know you're gonna pay a luxury price. If you go to a lower dealership, you know you're gonna pay a lower price. So let's say you be like, hey man, I'm not gonna lie. That Corvette is nice. You know you're gonna pay Corvette price. Like, you can't expect to go buy a Corvette for $10,000. You can't expect to buy a Corvette or a Rolls Royce or a Bentley or something of high quality at a Nissan price. You feel what I'm saying? And I understand a lot of folks don't understand breathing and how, you know, how it go with prices. But with my camp, I produce quality. And like I said, you guys, I know what I produce. And all my dogs are priced quarterly to everything. Um, pedigrees, what they what they look like, you know, what they bring to the table, structure, quality, and I know for a fact what I produce is next level. So you guys got to understand, you know, if you want that next level look, you got to pay that next level price. And to be honest with you, I feel like I'm honestly, this is my honest opinion. I feel like I'm underpriced because eight thousand for that chocolate female is. By far, too cheap, in my opinion. I know for a fact she's a 10K dog, for a fact. But I'm so understanding and so reasonable, people. You feel me? Because I want everybody to eat. I'm not going to ask 10K. 8K, I'm standing on 8K. I keep it before I let her go for anything under 8K. Anything under 8K, I'll keep her. You know what I'm saying? Anything under that, I'll keep her. But you guys know if you bought dogs. I will say this, though. If you bought dogs from me before, one thing about me. When you're a returning customer, I always look out for you. If it's your second dog, your third dog, I'm always look out for you. But like I said, though, when you're a returning customer and you want to shop me, you know I'm always look out for you. Second go round, third go round, fourth go round, I'm always look out for you. Anybody that bought a dog from me or just did business with me in general, if you bought a stud fee and you want to buy something from me, I'm always look out for you. But like I said, you guys got. I want you guys to understand because sometimes us breeders, well, I don't know about others, but I take it disrespectful. Like you hit me up thinking. And you know it's quality. Like, you look at it like, oh, that shit fine. But you expecting to pay $2,000. Like, I know a lot of other breeders do that shit where they'll have a dog and they'll break the price down. I'm not doing that, you guys. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I got two puppies available. I got two puppies available. Come on over here so you can see. I got two puppies available. I got this male and this female. I want what I want. I'm not breaking the price down. I want eight thousand for her, seven thousand for him. I'm not breaking the price down. I don't care. The only, the only, the only way the price can get broken down is if you're a returning customer. That's the only way. Other than that, I want what I want. They'll stay with me. They will stay with me until I get what I want. I got those two pups available. Um, like I said, man, you want quality? Tap in. You guys know I work out payment plans. Let me break these payment plans down to you guys. So if you're looking to do a payment plan with me. It's easier to get a payment plan early y'all out, like when the pups are small, small, or young, young, and just being born, because you have more of a time frame that I'll give you to pay you. I'm not, I've given people in the past, I've given one person, one person, a long time to pay me. I've given that person, I gave that person seven months to pay me. I'm never doing that again. I'm never doing that again. I'm never doing it again, because I'm not, I'm doing that. I'm, not, I'm never doing that again. But I will say this, 
Like, if you trying to get a payment plan, I'm willing to work with you guys. Like, I give a month, two months, maybe three months. It just depends. But you got to understand, every deposit for all my pups is 1K. Deposit is 1K. Um, and we have to work out a payment plan. Like, if you want to pay me every week, every two weeks. But again, you guys got to understand, I'm only giving max three months, maybe two months. I'm not giving nothing more than that. I'm not keeping a dog for five, six, seven, eight months. That's too long. I'm not doing that. I give you two months. You feel me? I give you two months. Maybe three months. Maybe. The more deposits you put down, the longer I give you. Always remember that. So you put down 3K, you put down 2K, I'll give you longer time. Just that simple. But again, I want to work with anybody who's willing to invest in quality and want to really level up and come in the game in the right way. That's my goal, to help anybody. That's why, like I said, the chocolate female is definitely a 10K pup, but 8K, I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to... I'm not gonna overtax nobody, but um, get you a quality dog. Tap in with me. Um, that's the end of the video. I love you guys. We're out. I'll catch y'all in the next video.